Welcome to this presentation about STM32 Cubemix pinout configuration. STM32 Cubemix allows you to define the pinout design of your project, but it also has the capability to generate the associated initialization code. In this presentation, I would like to demonstrate how we can do the pin assignment as a basic GPIO or as an alternate function linked to an internal IP. On the STM32 dual core or on the STM32 Cortex M33 with stress zone activated, we will see that an additional step is needed to assign pin to one word or to the other one. But first, I would like we start with a, just an overview about this pinout configuration tab. First, let me give you an overview of the pinout and configuration interface. By default, you will be in pinout view. That means you can see the MCU selected on the different pin. You can switch to system view. Here you can see a block diagram of all the IPs that is configured in your project. For the moment, we only have the system core one. To switch from one view to the other one, click on both, or you can also use those arrow. If I click there, I switch to pinout view. And if I switch to this one, I switch to system view. Now, if I want to activate an IP, I've got the list here of all the IP. You can expand all this list, which is classified by categories, and you can see all the different IP possible. You can also use alphabetic order, and you can use a search bar. For example, if I click on this timer one, I've got the configuration of this one that is possible, I can activate and configure it, but we will see this later. Again, I can collapse this window. Then we've got the menu Software Pact, which allow you to select additional components, software component that you want to activate inside your project. And then you've got a pinout menu. This one allow you to do many actions and we'll see in detail after. <laughs> 